Hi everyone, um, it's been a little while since I last made a video, in fact this is the third attempt I've made, had of making this video because for some reason YouTube is playing up, um, but anyhow. Um, it's been a strange few months, I think after the last video that I made, in fact it was yeah, within a couple of days of the last one I made, I um, had a bit of a remission, which lasted in all probably a, a couple of weeks. It sort of peaked after three or four days, and my um, gait in particular was really good. Um, I was still getting some involuntary movements, um, but my gait was good, and then it gradually over a period of a couple of weeks, I got worse and back to how I was um, before. Um, but at least my cognitive problems were, were much less, which was good because it gave me a chance to be able to do s some reading. Um, I managed to get to church a few times, which is something I, I like to do when I can. Um, and yeah, generally functioning a little bit higher, but uh, this last weekend was a bank holiday weekend and we went out on Monday and, and I know I've overdone it and I've, I've sort of crashed again. Um, I had noticed though that when we went out that I think my walk-in is slightly worse now than it was before the remission. It's hard to be certain because it's very subjective, but I'm pretty certain I can walk less distance than I could before. Um, and it certainly feels much harder. So that's not so good, but no doubt, as this illness often does, it'll ease again somewhere along the line. And hopefully I'll have another remission not too far along the line, who knows. But over the last couple of weeks, you, you would have seen it on my YouTube channel. I've been, I found a, a little website called jamstudio.com and it's been a, a real it's been great for me because I, I used to write songs when I was a teenager and on and off up until my early 30s and um, and any, anyhow this, this this website allows me to to put together backing tracks and I can sit and I can write songs and it's really good for me I do play the guitar but since having ME I find it quite difficult and uh, I recently played at church and really struggled, really, really struggled. Um, the coordination that's needed um, and remembering where chords are, it just doesn't come quick enough anymore. But Jam Studio lets me just sort of press a few buttons and I can mess about with chord sequences and I can add guitars, I can add piano, I can add synthesizer, drums, bass, the lot. Um, it's like having a band and, and, I, and I really enjoyed it. Um, but uh, I think I've paid a bit of a price for that because my cognitive problems have got worse. Um, really, it, it's just been nice to have something that I can do that isn't that I can do. Really, I needed a hobby for so long. And there's so many few things that I can do because I have problems with my hands. Um, uh, just generally, I, there was little I could think of that I could do, so it's been nice to have that, but it will be something I can only do when I'm well. Um, now, you, one of the reasons I thought I'd better make a video was because I expect some of you have come on since I made a video and thought, well, what's that all about? Well, it's just me. I'm just messing about and doing something different, really. Um, and whereas some people make things or paint things as a hobby, I just happen to write songs. And if people like them, that's great. But if they don't, that's great too. 
Um, but don't think that the whole of the YouTube channel is just going to be put over to that because I will still be making videos about um, ME, um, and particularly about me, because this really is my my video blog. Um, so yeah, that's been good. Uh, but now I sort of hit the, the crash, really. Um, um, sometimes I think the cognitive problems are the worst ones to deal with. Um, I am particularly bad now because I've been trying to do this longer than I should have done. Um, I've been trying to keep up with pacing and I've not been that good. It's been very hit and miss, but I have managed to keep up with my rest in the afternoon. Um, I do have two hours in the afternoon where I have complete rest. I lie on my bed, I shut my eyes, no music, no television, no reading, just complete rest. And sometimes I fall asleep and sometimes I don't. But it does seem to help my body just to sort of pick up and and cope. I'm fortunate because I, I do sleep reasonably well at night. And I think that's probably the clonazepam that I have. Um, I say reasonably well. I get about five hours a night, something like that. So five, six hours. Um, so that's not too bad. Of course, this month is ME Awareness Month. Oh, that was a good one. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, so we mustn't forget that. I know there are many of you who watch my videos who are much more severely affected than I am and are bed bound, and I'm fortunate that I'm still not. And it's there's a desperate need for people to to have an understanding of what ME really is. And yesterday I saw in the Daily Mail, which is a UK paper, that hasn't in the past been very helpful towards people with ME and sometimes have said things that have been quite frankly hurtful. Um, but one of the journalists saw the movie that was made recently, um, which name I forget, Voices from the Shadows or something like that, Someone correct me down below. Um, but anyhow, she saw it and it really challenged her and she started to think about what Emmy really is. She herself had been prejudiced about it. And she's written a really good article. It's got some things that perhaps aren't completely accurate, but there's a lot of good stuff in there. And I will post a link with this video here so that you can have a read. It makes a change to have a journalist to actually as bothered to take notice of what's going on. Um, as for me, in some ways, I've kept out of things uh, involved with ME. I was involved in lots of groups. I used to post on Facebook a lot about about it in Facebook groups and not on the forums and things. And, used to get angry when I read certain things, not that other ME sufferers wrote, but things that, that psychologists, psychiatrists have said and newspaper journalists have said. And to be honest, all it was doing was making me worse. And there's no point in it. Um, so I've sort of eased back on that. And I try as much as I possibly can to do things that aren't ME related um, for my own sanity, really. Um, because I need to have something outside of this. This isn't me. Uh, my Emmy isn't me. It's just something that I have to deal with every day. And so finding something like the songwriting has been good from that point of view because I can express myself and create something and feel, yeah, that's, that's been worthwhile. But at the same time, this illness never leaves you a long, long for well, never leaves you alone for very long. Um, my brain is really not working very well. Um, and always shows itself somewhere along the line. So it's no, not a case of forgetting about it because it doesn't 
let you do that. Um, so, yeah, so that really is all I want to say. I've said too much. I've gone on long enough. So I'll leave it there. And no doubt I'll make another video soon. I just hope this one comes out. And uh, anyhow, I make another video soon. So when you see all my music videos going up, that's not just what I'm doing all the time now. That's just a, a hobby that I've taken up. And you probably won't see any for a while anyhow until my brain starts to work again. So speak to you again soon. Bye for now.